Hi Robin with OxyDry. And uh, as you can see, I'm cleaning a pretty rubby looking carpet here. Uh, this customer has a beautiful golden retriever. And of course the golden retriever is a, well, he likes to sleep right here. And of course they shed a lot. And there's oils that come off the fur, off the coat. And uh, this is where he lays and he's laying on a polyester carpet. And we know polyester, not, um, not um, a great carpet when it comes to oils. It, it, it does readily absorb oils. So this is a pretty soiled area but um, I've pre-treated it already with some Suspend and then I actually went and sprayed it a little bit more with some uh, Omega Citrus and it's been sitting there for a little while and now I'm just giving it one more shot of uh, Suspend because it's helped to cut through the oil. But, this odd, very large, swivelly tub chair sitting in the corner and I pulled it out back and behind there pulled it back and look at what happened now it's coming off of these plastic feet and they're plastic they're not rubber but I've seen this before I've seen uh, plastic feet on couches that um, just sitting there will literally transfer color out of the plastic into the, onto the carpet or if you move it on the carpet um, it might slide easy and this did slide actually very easy but uh, it, it, the um, it's, I guess it's almost like a almost like a crayon I guess <laughs> uh, but what's happening is um, in the last well decade or so a lot of plastics that we see we are using are actually recycled plastics because that's the thing to do, right? Unfortunately, what occurs is every time a plastic is recycled, the um, it becomes a lesser grade of plastic. It becomes um, it breaks down much more easily, readily. It it uh, literally composts, <laughs> composts, and um, I had bought a uh, couple of guitar stands about ten years or so ago, and. Not too long ago, last year, I guess, I was uh, moving one of my guitars and I noticed that the guitar stand, it was a plastic, plasticky, claspy thing in a bracket and whatever. It felt like it had like oil or slime all over it. I was like, what on earth is going on? And, um, and then uh, next thing I knew, the plastic, it just broke without any stress on it at all. And I realized that what was happening was that this was a recycled plastic and it was literally degrading and falling apart. It was literally reverting back to its original compounds. It was literally rotting away. The plastic was rotting away. It was just... Anyway, so that's what's going on. So, uh, anyway. Now, I... Uh, those marks behind me, which I'm about to go and do. I'm going to go this way first. Um, we're going to deal with that in a sec. What I did is I uh, I did pre-treat them with um, uh, re um, suspend, and um, uh, so I did. As soon as I saw the, the mark from the chair, that is, I, I as soon as I saw that, I immediately treated it with some with some suspend and uh, now we're about to go on and deal with that. So it's been sitting for uh, a few minutes already, probably about 15 minutes. This is a polyester carpet. Um, I cleaned this carpet two years ago when they moved in and it was actually um, pretty gruesome. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Had quite a few marks on it. The people that were here before were very hard on the carpet. Um, the steps in particular are really massacred. Got lots of bad stains on there, but anyway, uh, the carpet did come up very nice. And there's a lady here um, 
said, she says she's, the carpet has been standing up pretty well. But now they've got the uh, the golden retriever living on the carpet, and uh, they of course are very hard on the carpet. But that's what happens. Old life. And we're going to fix that in a sec, aren't we? I cleaned this entire bed frame and it's cleaned up really well. What I actually did is uh, the other side, uh, the video should be on before this video that I'm uh, recording, but. Um, on the other side of the bed there, it was really bad. If you go back to the video previous, previous to this one, that should be there. Um, and then after I cleaned it, and I cleaned up really well, I uh, put my extractor, my E600 extractor over there while I pre-vacuumed everything else and um, let the exhaust blow right across there to um, give it a speed dry. So anyway, here's the mark. Um, the first pass is uh, definitely improving hopefully I'll get this out 100% hope so <laughs> I'm not too concerned about it because I guess my thinking is that if it transfers off of the foot so well it should it should transfer out of the carpet pretty well And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna clean over there. And actually, it is pretty darn clean. But uh, we're gonna be putting that thing back carefully in a few minutes. Oh, well, I'm not gonna drag it. Huh. Okay, we'll let it sit. We'll come back to that. I've seen that before, as I mentioned. Um, I've seen. Uh, I remember moving a bed once, um, and um, when I went to move the bed, I realized that the, there was a mark under the foot that was uh, there before I even moved the bed. It was like literally, um, it was just literally transferring onto the carpet it was just, it was, as it was sitting there. So if you're uh, out and about and you're seeing a weird colored stain um, on, underneath a plastic foot of a couch or a bed or whatever, um, and you got that plastic foot, that's almost certainly what you're seeing, and it's not going to be easy to get it off. It may be impossible. So this is uh, really loaded up with doggy oil. As you can see the, how well the, um, the side came up. It was really, really dirty there. It looks beautiful now. It's almost dry. I, I did work it pretty good there with the uh, E600. Extractor. bad marker over here in front of the door and that all is coming out nicely. Um, this carpet is um, I think well I'm pretty sure it's more than five years old. I think this carpet is around between five and eight years old. Um, and as I say a couple years ago when I cleaned it for these folks for the first time it, it really was in <clears throat> pretty bad shape. So it did come up pretty well and it has been standing up very well. <coughs> But their uh, beautiful doggy is very, very hard on the surface. And she 
she loves the dog. And so she should. But I, I, I can see <clears throat> right in this area, the, um, I can see the yarn is uh, the doggies' pads and the claws. I've been really working up the polyester yarn as well. And it's quite frizzed up and uh, bloomed all over the place, which is normal for a polyester. Now I can still see this a little bit, and um, I'm going to try something really radical. Not positive this will work, but I need to fix it. Distort the pile. But I'm going to take my uh, groomer here. First of all, I'm going to make sure I can see it. It's still there, but faintly. And this. Believe it or not, that's ammonia. Now, I don't like ammonia, and I don't use ammonia, but sometimes you can use it, or should use it, or can use it. That's straight ammonia. Of course, it's not a uh, product that I use normally, but this is an unusual circumstance. So we're going to let that sit, and I'll come back to that. not to uh, get this to uh, aerosol into the air anymore than I absolutely have to. Um, I did actually warn my customer that I might be using ammonia. I actually had a another stain I was thinking I might have used, had to use it on. I didn't. But anyway, I did actually tell her I might be using it, so... Because, uh... This stuff smells. <laughs> It'll dissipate pretty quickly, of course, but... Once it dries... But, um... It is not something I actually use, usually, but I think this is an unusual circumstance, so that's why I used it. Okay.
change all the uh, activity in the house is from here and in that direction. Everything to my right is actually uh, pretty clean. So I will be only using an Iron Man pad over in that direction. marks over here. I did a uh, job yesterday which I was going to record and then I kind of forgot um, and the carpet was 40 years old and uh, never been cleaned and uh, much better shape than this carpet uh, it was a um, well most of it was a uh, oh what's the word um, propylene propylene uh, yeah um, a hard twist. Uh, I remember back in the 70s, uh, in the house we were living in, we had that in our house. So that stuff was, used to run into that all the time because it really lasted. And then the upstairs um, had a thick, pretty thick plush nylon. And there were stains on it, quite a few stains on it. They all came out, no problem at all. Yeah. You can make the carpet last, but that doesn't help. That would sound perfect if they do that, now does it? Different thinking now, you know. I mean, it used to be that uh, when they would sell things, they would all be about quality and, and uh, you know, durability and all that kind of stuff. But now, you know, they, yeah, I think it's quite interesting years ago I began to realize that, you know, like the car commercials, for example, they wouldn't really talk about how this car was so reliable compared to somebody else's, which is what they used to talk about. Now it's all about, you know, uh, oh, what a feeling you'll have when you arrive, drive this car or whatever. The, 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 um, the marketing is more about how this will make you feel rather than being a sort of a practical uh, perspective, I guess. again. I think we will. Been sitting for uh, a few minutes.
Well, the lady um, I was talking to her, she's well aware that this carpet is not a good carpet. Um, some of the things she was commenting to me about, she knows it's very worn and uh, you can see that it's, it's not standing up very well at all. So um, her expectations are realistic, I think. But. Uh, it's gonna look pretty darn good. And uh, I'm gonna go over here a little bit again. And it looks like I've, uh, I think I'm gonna have success with this. Um, I can. It's a bit hard now to tell whether or not I'm actually seeing the mark or if I'm actually seeing it just being a little bit damper because I did treat that line. So we're definitely having success here, I think. And when I do the final uh, grooming, etc., then we'll know for sure. So anyway, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to... Uh, switch over to an air manager that <laughs> that whole end I got a the room goes that way and then there's a bedroom over there another bedroom over there and that'll be done all be done with the iron man okay I'll let you go so thank you very much for watching and have a good day